Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to try out the Tarte Tape Shape. It's all the rage right now on YouTube. I've seen several people just go on and on about how this is their holy grail, ladies. So I purchased it and it came in the mail yesterday. So I wanna go ahead and try this out for you guys and let you know if it's worth all the hype. Uh, so let's get started, okay? Wow, uh, that's a big doe foot. That's what she said. <laughs> that is huge. Can you guys see that? Okay, so I wasn't expecting it to be that big. Again, that's what she said. Oh, goodness. Okay, yeah, I'm in a goofy mood. Sorry. It's, you know, it's been a day. Okay, so I'm going to just, uh, I have a mirror down here in front of me. So I'm going to lean down a little bit and apply some under my eye. And then I have a wet or a damp beauty blender that I will be blending it in with. So let's try this out, shall we? Because I know you guys can see those bags under my eyes. Um, yeah, I don't sleep very well. Um, so kind of need this to conceal. And I think this is going to brighten up my eyes, my under eyes, quite a bit. It's a very bright color. Got my war paint on. <laughs> okay. Let's see how this stuff blends out, shall we? I'm going to turn this way and hold my mirror up so that I can see and then you guys can see what I'm doing. Well, it blends out nicely. That's really nice. Really, really, really nice. I like that. I like it a lot. in the corner there. I have not finished my makeup because I wanted to get this done and I wanted to do this on camera so I still need to do um, my blush and my highlighter and lipstick. And speaking of lipstick, uh, I'm going to try out another color of the Maybelline 24 hour super stay liquid lipstick can't seem to get up in that corner let me try this other beauty blender and see if it yeah it's a little bit more pointed so I can get right up in that corner and blend that out very very nice it blends out perfect you guys so um, yeah I would say it's worth the hype yes very nice okay maybe next time I might bring it down a little more um, but let's go ahead and set that and then do the blush highlighter and then on to the lipstick. Woo woo. Okay. <laughs> I'm being silly. I'm so sorry. Um, 
No, I'm not actually because, you know, you only live once, so you might as well enjoy it while you can and have a good time, right? So for my blush today, I'm going to be using the MAC CB4 in the color Gentle. It's got a mix of gold in there. It's a very, very beautiful color. This is their mineralized blush. So I will be using that today. Let me find a good blush brush. I'm gonna be using just a fluffy blush brush. Just get a little color on there. Ooh, that is a lot of color. That's okay. Because we can blend it out. Blend it out. We're gonna do that with this little, okay. So now, on to the highlighter. I love highlighters. They just make everything pop. So of course you guys know which highlighter I'm going to, or which palette I'm going to highlight from. Mm -hmm, you guessed it, my new glow kit. So I think I'm going to go with some Golden Dawn, you know, to spice up that pink on the cheek. So I'm gonna go in with some Golden Dawn right here, pick up a little bit on my brush, give it a little tap, and then put it right at the top of that cheekbone right there. That is a nice gold color. Very, very pretty. I actually love all the colors in this palette. Very, very pretty colors. Nice. And put a little on the tip of the nose. And then I want to get the Cupid's bow. I think I'm going to go in with the snow on the Cupid's bow because I like that to be a little more shiny. Oh yeah. Okay. That's better. And then we'll do the tip of the nose in snow as well. Okay. So now that the highlighter is done, let's just um, find another blending brush here. Here we go. I'm just going to use a little blending brush to tone down that keep its bow. I think I put a little too much there. Okay, so now that that's done, let's move on to the Maybelline Superstay 24 Hour Lip Color. And this is in the shade, where did they put it? The number is 015. And I cannot read that color. It is so small. And I threw the package away. Let's just go ahead and get this on my lips. And just word to the wise. Careful where you put this stuff because it's not easy to get off. So,
goes on nicely. This is so nerve-wracking because if you mess up, you know, And if you're older like I am, you have these little lines on your lips from smiling, laughing, puckering, all that good stuff. And you don't want to get it up in there. Smoothing out the edges. It's a very pretty color. I will say it's a little sticky at first. Um, but it dries down so when it dries down then it kind of seals itself and then you can come back and put on the uh, clear part to give your lips a little bit of moisture Let's see I missed a spot That took care of it. <laughs> I really like this color. Okay, it feels like it's dried down enough to come back with this over it. Mm. Very nice. Very nice indeed. I love this color. I love it. Love these colors. Everything um, is absolutely worth the hype, um, especially the concealer. I think this is my new Holy Grail concealer, ladies. Um, if you have an opportunity to purchase this, if you can find it, please get it. Um, I had to go straight to the Tarte website to get mine because my Sephora was sold out and um, couldn't find it anywhere else. So yeah, definitely pick that up if um, you need a good concealer because that is going to be the one to get. Best concealer so far that I've ever used right there. So I really like how it looks on my skin. I really love the way it blended out. Um, not a lot of flashback from the lighting. Um, I will zoom in and show you guys. Let's see, there we go. Zoom in really tight so you can see. It looks very nice, very even full coverage. So this look today that I have on right now, I will go over real quickly what I'm wearing on my face. Oh, and sorry for the messy bun, messy hair, don't care. Um, so for my foundation, I chose to use the L'Oreal True Match Lumi. This is in the color N12. It's my favorite foundation. As far as drugstore foundations go, it doesn't settle into the fine lines. It gives you a good medium to full coverage. Um, I find that if I apply it with a beauty blender, it goes on nicely. Uh, today I applied it with the Scylla sponge. It went on perfectly. Did not give me full coverage with a Scylla sponge on one uh, coat, so I had to go over and do it again. And then I kind of took my um, Tarte airbrush and just kind of um, buffed it out a little bit and made it um, sit better on my face. After I was done with that, then I came in with my um, Tarte paint palette and I used the um, bronzer here. This is called Provocative. So I use the provocative bronzer right here for my cheeks, forehead, chin area. Uh, and then I, of course you guys saw, I use the MAC Mineralized Blush in the color Gentle, number CB4 for my blush. Highlighter, I used my Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit for my highlighter. 
And for my eyes, I also used the Tarte Paint Palette. And this one has a bunch of color, like 24 colors in it. I used the um, color Fresco, this one right here. Let's see, right there. That's my transition color. This was my crease color. And then I used this on the outer corner and blended in. On my lid, I used, um, on my lid and brow, I used this one right here. So, um, transition, I used Fresco. Um, for my crease, I used Hearts and Crafts. For the outer V, I used Frameworthy. And then for the lid and brow, I used the color Glitter Glue. So, those are the colors that I have on my face right now. Uh, the eyeliner that I have been obsessed with lately is called the Ico by it's a London brand Ico London the fat liquid eyeliner in the color black this is my new go-to eyeliner ladies if you can find it get it it's fantastic I love it it's a bold marker type eyeliner which I absolutely love makes it such a breeze to put on your liner and look at it it is on point today ladies perfect and I can wing with this too I just didn't today um, the lashes that I'm wearing today are by kiss I've used two pairs so far um, so yeah these are in the number 11 these are uh, Demi lashes wispies so those are the lashes that I have on of course I applied them with the duo glue which is what I normally use I did order some house of lashes glue uh, got a tip from a friend that said you can put the house of lashes on your actual um, lash line right there and then put the lashes on there and you don't have to wait for anything to dry down so I'm gonna try that and see how that works out that'll be a good video to do and let's see you guys saw I use the 24-hour super stay Maybelline lipstick I will put the color in the description bar down below. Um, I did do a little bronzing on my shoulders. I haven't been able to get out in the sun lately and um, I haven't been using my self tanner. So I'm really pasty pale and being that I'm wearing a keyhole cold shoulder uh, turtleneck sweater, I thought I would throw a little bronzer on my shoulders. So I put on the Temp2 bronzer on my shoulders just to give a little color a little pop to my shoulders so yeah that's what I have on my arms it's a very beautiful color it's also good to use in your um, breast area so uh, if you want to make them uh, pop with color you know give them a little sheen because it's, it's coppery and it has like a, a metallic to it so it's very nice to use if you want to um, bring emphasis to that area so there you go that is my look it's what I'm wearing oh almost forgot did my brows with I didn't use the wonder brow today I went ahead and used my Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, brow wiz in the color here it is in the color uh, taupe I believe no caramel use the color caramel that's what I used on my eyebrows, ladies. And so, yeah, that's my look for today. Thank you very much for joining me. I am so happy, happy, happy that the person who won the glow kit uh, will be getting her kit any day now. It took me a while to get a hold of her, but I did finally get a hold of her and um, her glow kit will be to her on Friday. So I'm excited about that. I have a couple of other smaller giveaways to do. So you guys stay tuned for those. And I will do another Birch Box giveaway soon. As soon as the winner of this last one that I did is announced at the end of the month. So then I'll do a February. So all that's coming up. I'm very excited for this. I might even do a Valentine's Day giveaway, uh, something uh, for you guys just for being subscribers and being the beautiful people that you are uh, I love you all I love getting on here and talking to you I love all the feedback that I get the positivity it's just phenomenal what you guys do for me on a daily basis that you have no idea 
sometimes you just send me a little heart and it just makes me light up it makes my day and i just can't thank you enough for allowing me into your homes and into your lives and i'm so blessed to have each and every one of you as a subscriber thank you so much for watching subscribe below share my channel like this video give it a big thumbs up leave me a comment let me know how i'm doing you know give me some ideas let me know what you want to see and i'll be sure to do that video for you again thank you thank you thank you be good to yourself and be good to each other stay beautiful ladies Mwah.